and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to what is today a very big video in many different ways because we are of course going to be talking about the renewal of Ansu Fati. What a fantastic piece of news that is for the present and the future of this club. But we are also going to be talking about Ronald Koeman's future and especially the new problem that Barca discovered against Dinamo on Wednesday that Laporta is going to have to consider, and we're also going to talk about Xavi Hernandez, who may just be waiting in the wings, ahead of a decisive Clasico for Ronald Koeman's Barca. This Sunday, it is all coming up, so let's get to it. But if we start, first of all, with the fantastic news, like I say, now official and confirmed and signed, that Ansu Fati is going to be at Barca for the long term, signing a new contract there until 2027. And the best news, of course, is that just like Pedri, Ansu's release clause stands at 1 billion euros. And I think what we have to say here, first of all, is very well done to Ansu, to all of the board for making this renewal possible, and especially there for the sacrifices that Ansu would have had to have made. You know, apparently he had big, big offers from elsewhere. Liverpool, Man United and PSG apparently were all very, very interested and sent big proposals his way. But he only wanted to stay here. He said, I had offers from abroad. He said, that is true. But he said, it's my dream to be here. From the very first day, I told George Mendes, of course, his agent, that I only wanted to stay at Barca. He understood it perfectly. And I'm very happy that the club has trusted in me. And Laporta, who was alongside Ansu there for the celebration of this renewal, he said, today is a great day for Barca. It is a very special day with players like Ansu Fati, of course, as well. Pedri that we've renewed, the present and the sporting future of this club, it's assured. He said Ansu is a special player, a unique player, and we're going to have him at this club until at least... 2027. And I think it is really special that we have been able here to renew Pedri until 2026, to renew Ansu until 2027, even during a difficult time for the club, sporting wise, but also financially too. We've not been able to offer here the absolute best wages for these young and up and coming talents, but they want to be here. That is the message that I would send to you guys right now, that even in these difficulties, players want to be at Barca. It's their dream to succeed here. And what we have to do now, what it's our responsibility to do now as a club, is to help these players go on and achieve their potential. And of course, one of the driving forces behind that, it's the coach. Because once again, we do move on here to the future of Ronald Koeman. This has been a topic that has dominated our entire season. It hasn't gone away, even despite winning back-to-back -back games. It is still very much at the forefront of our minds. Because as always at Barca, it's not only about the results. And I would ask the question here right now, guys. Looking at that game on Wednesday against Dinamo, the way that Barca played during that game, the 90 minutes that we had to endure, what is Juan Laporta thinking watching that? Is he sitting back in his seat at the stadium, looking around in there at all those empty seats thinking, this is all fine. This is going well. This is the direction that we want to be going in. It's nonsense. There is no way that he can be sitting there and feeling content with what is happening and what he is seeing from Ronald Koeman as the Barca coach. Because he's spoken before about the image of the club. For instance, after the loss against Bayern on the big European stage in a big Champions League night, he spoke about the fact that he didn't like the way that Barca had been presented by Koeman to the world. Well, what about last night then? What are you thinking there with that kind of image that's been broadcast there around the world, Barca did nothing against Dinamo Kiev there. We're not a team here who are feared. We're not a team here who people take seriously right now. We need to once again get that identity back, put some fear in our opponents, and above all else, we want to enjoy watching our team play. We want to enjoy sitting down there, looking at the 90 minutes, and watching a team with a plan out there on the field. And that right there, that's the new problem. That's a big, big issue right now that I don't think Laporta would have actually seen coming. The attendances. You look there since we've been allowed to have 100% capacity back in the stadium against Valencia. Then again last night, 
it's less than half full. People right now are not coming. They're not wanting to come and watch these performances. And honestly, guys, can you blame them? Yes, there's many factors right now. You know, people may be still cautious about COVID. There's the loss of Messi. The team are in a difficult moment. All of this kind of stuff. Ticket prices. But at the end of the day, are you really going to go and pay your hard-earned money to go and watch Ronald Koeman's Barca week in, week out? Evidently, People are saying no. The locals there in Barca are saying, you know what? We don't want to do it. And it's not only from a sporting point of view, because obviously we need the fans. Every team needs the fans behind. They need a stadium there that's alive. And you look at it last night at the Champions League, it was absolutely dead there. It was flat inside the stadium. No atmosphere whatsoever. But also, this is the part that Laporta is going to be really concerned about. Think about the financial side. Think about all of those empty seats there and all of the money that you're missing out on. We will literally, if the stadium stays like that, it's going to be millions that we're losing every single home game. And yes, of course, it costs money to pay Ronald Koeman off. But if people aren't coming in, if people aren't excited about this team, it's going to cost you a lot, lot more in the loss there of revenue when people could have been coming and watching the team week in, week out. And this is what Laporta has to think about. He's all good and well saying, you know what? I back Koeman. I'm, you know, going to stick with my coach. We're going to ride out this storm. We're going to wait and see where we end up. But the time is now. The time to act is right now. These are not performances of the Barcelona standard. They're not even close. You could have gone down the local park. You could have gone down there to your local team and actually watched there a more entertaining spectacle than Barca put on last night. And there is absolutely no way, there's no way that Laporta is not seeing this too. He knows about the club's problems. He knows about the finances. And this is yet another mark against Koeman as the Barca coach. Which, of course, then brings me on to Xavi Hernandez. Because obviously now, when we're coming into this weekend's game against Real Madrid, there is still big pressure. Especially on Ronald Koeman. This could very much be a decisive game. Is Xavi right now waiting in the wings? We know that over the past month or so, it's been confirmed there in the media that Laporta and Xavi, they've had conversations. They do have a good personal relationship. Laporta there is absolutely fine with Xavi. Exactly the same the other way round too. Even if Laporta still isn't 100% sure that this is the right time for Xavi, they do remain in contact there, if only as friends. But... As time goes on here, and as Barca become in a more and more desperate situation, for instance, if we lose the Classico, if the fans don't come back, if the attendances continue to be at that concerning level, if people are not excited about this team, Laporta is going to have to act. He simply is going to have to. And Xavi is the most likely option, by far and away, to be honest, to come in mid-season. Now, on Friday, Xavi actually plays there a cup final with Al Sadd there, which will give him a chance to claim yet another managerial honour there with Al Sadd. So very best of luck to him in that game. But looking, like I say, to Sunday, there are starting now to appear in the media a few murmurs here and there that Xavi is waiting. He is waiting, and so is Laporta, to see what happens in Barca against Real Madrid. Because if the result is bad, and whether that is just a loss, whether that's a heavy defeat, whatever happens in that game, if it does not turn out well for Barca, and therefore Koeman, an immediate decision could be made. There is no doubt about that right now, that this is a crucial game, and Xavi is said to be waiting should that opportunity arise, he would take it, he would come in. But like I say, El Clasico, on Sunday, between Barca and Real Madrid, it's decisive. So that there, guys, is the Barca news for you today. Of course, fantastic celebration there. An absolute joy at the fact that Ansu Fati is going to be with us there into the long term. But plenty of questions still over the future of Ronald Koeman, and especially with Xavi, waiting, just seeing what's going to happen this weekend. Please do let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. What would you do to excite the fans again? What would you do to bring this club back? And can you see Laporta make it a snap decision if things go badly on Sunday? I'll see you, of course, very, very soon indeed for all of that Classico build-up. Thank you indeed for your support. But until next time, guys. As always, Vishka, El Basta.